I'm here in Las Vegas, Nevada for the CES 2024, the number one consumer electronic trade show in the world. So let's get inside and take a look around. There are over 4,000 exhibitors, and they're all showing off the latest and greatest technologies, celebrating 100 years of innovation. My main focus is to seek out what is being cooked up for 2024. And now that we're inside, we've checked out a lot of cool things, but it's time to go check out the Blue Eddy booth. Get ready to go to live, so let's check that out. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the world's biggest exhibition, CS, taking place here in 2024 in Las Vegas, Nevada. And I am here at the CS at Letty Booth. Let me know in the comments, okay? Let me check the comments real quick. So, oh, you know, we have so many comments, guys. So right here, uh, you're looking at the world's first ice maker ever in history. Probably not this one, but that's what it would look like. Uh, it's called a Yachtal. I'm sorry, I'm probably saying that terribly. And by the 1950s, a refrigerator and ice maker were very common in American households. But we're taking ice out of the home, and so I'd like to introduce our newest product. Woo! The multi cooler by Bluetti. So this is a green one, just like the Persian Ice House. It's a refrigerator, freezer, and ice maker all in one. Hey everybody, I'm here with Michael from Blue Eddy, and he's gonna introduce us to the different products that Blue Eddy has to offer. And could you tell us a little bit about yourself and a little bit more about Blue Eddy? Of course, yeah. So, um, you know, with, uh, I'll start with Bluetti and then I'll go to myself. So okay. we'll start big, right, go yeah. small. Okay, all right. uh, so uh, essentially yeah. Bluetti, we're in the business of power. So, you know, we, we, we think that you should be able to take however, wherever you want. Solar, you know, renewables doesn't have to just be at like the house level. We can even do it like, you know, camping, um, you know, in RVs, even like replace gas generators. So, you know, we have uh, at like a price point, we have incredible amount of range. And so, you know, we can get you a uh, power station that fits your needs. However, like whatever budget, whatever, you know, basically give you whatever tool you need for the job. Yeah. We have something for you. All right. Uh, myself, uh, Michael, uh, you know, uh, you're just me. I'm uh, essentially the uh, technician. I have a lot of uh, you know, service experience. I have a lot of uh, technical knowledge that I have to do to uh, contact our like electricians, all the installers, and whoever's curious. All right, well, you sure? were yeah. showing us around and talking about the products and yeah. your expertise, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the exciting one right here. So uh, this is, uh, it's actually this product right here. And then this product on the floor. I'm not sure if you can uh, get that here. But yeah, so essentially, uh, these two units are a part of a, uh, you know, I, I'd say, let's say, uh, ecosystem. Okay. So they both use these batteries right here. So these are the removable battery packs. Uh, this is, you know, our first prototype. You see a little bit of scratching. That'll be uh, Also, it's soft. not, yeah, yeah, it's not, not bad too, at all, is not it? Not too heavy, no. No, no, that's good. Yeah, so one of these batteries will fit in this electric cooler right here, All right. and uh, this will fit two. Both of these add up to about 14, a little over 1,400 watt hours. So, so how long will that in here. Uh, run the batteries? How long will it run? So how long will this battery run the refrigerator? Oh, Roughly. good question. So I mean, if at 100% charge. At 100% charge, um, so you know if you do have it more full, because you know obviously more mass holds its temperature yeah, well. Yeah. Um, it uh, R and D has told me it should last about six days. Okay. Yeah. That's, um, yeah so that's on so, one battery. So if you have yeah. this system and this and that, so you got 12 days of refrigeration. Just about. Yeah. So with the ice maker, the ice maker it does go down. All right. So it does use more power. How long does it take? 
to make a full thing of ice? To make a, a, a full thing of ice, it should take about, I think, uh, 20 minutes if you have it on the large ice cube setting. Oh, that's faster than a lot of ice makers, man. Yeah, because yeah. um, you can use, uh, you can get small ice cubes and large ice cubes. Okay. You can actually control that size through the app. All right. So these are going to be, uh, these are Let me do pretty this. much direct replacements for gas generators. So you have these three ports right here. You have 230 amps, the L1430, the TT30, and then you have the 50 amp plug, the NEMA 1450. So those will be actually direct replacements for gas generators. You can actually, so we actually have a transfer switch. Uh, if you already have a transfer switch installed at your own house, you use a gas generator, you should be able to directly input this. Um, it will only be single phase instead of like a gas generator will have the split phase. Um, but you know, at 5,000 watts, that's, uh, you know, it's gonna be enough for at least most of those circuits. All right, and how many can you put in yes. parallel? So uh, on this uh, AC500 with B300S batteries, you can do up to six batteries. That's gonna be just around 18 kilowatt hours. 18 kilowatt hours, and? Oh, and the AC300, yep. uh, you can do up to four regular B300 batteries, and that's gonna be up to four for about 12 kilowatt hours. Okay. All right, sir, appreciate right. it. Thank you. The pleasure. <laughs> All right, hi, I'm Brian Shirkliff, Sales Director for the Home Energy Storage Systems for Blue Eddy. We're at CES. Uh, I was just asked about our LAF program, Lighting an African Family. Uh, this was a program that was devised to help out uh, families in Africa. A lot of times, uh, homes, uh, you know, people that live in Africa don't have access to electricity. So if they're using cell phones, or needing to use light at night to study or cook or, or, or just use electricity for a radio, things like that. Uh, they don't have access to that. So what we've been able to do is have a small DC battery uh, inverter that with a smaller panel that uh, enables basically uh, these families to not have to go to the next town to charge their, their phone. Or now they can have more power at night so that their, their children can study for a better future. They can also cook uh, safer, safer. So that's really at the forefront of our LAF program. We're very proud of it. Our goal is to have one million families in, in Africa with uh, our, uh, we call it a, a yellow box or green box, so depending on what it is. Uh, it's, but it, it's a essentially a just a smaller version of our unit that's meant for off-grid living in, in Africa. So okay. the surge capability of our batteries, so we, we use 99 volt batteries. This is 31 cells in one of these batteries. Uh, it comes as a kit, right? The pre-crimped uh, VMS, everything. I can get one of these up and running from unboxing it to getting it more or less turned on in about 30 minutes. Okay? Okay. Uh, now you still got to do the wiring and the, the solar. Uh, yeah. But okay. the, this is 9,000 watts continuous until it's dead. Yeah. It'll be able to do 200% for 100 milliseconds, 150% for 10 seconds. So what is that, like 14,000 watts for 10 seconds? Yeah. So if you start kicking on things... Yeah, so those elements like will those start elements, to so heat like, up. Yeah, yes. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they should be able to handle it. And it'll even run at 110% for 10, 10 minutes. Oh, really? For 10 minutes? 10 minutes. Now, I'll let you know, uh, electric heating, resistive heating, you know, that's probably the hardest yeah, for any battery. Anything heater. Anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you know, you know, anything that uses resistive heating, this is more than capable of handling it. Now, if you had two of these units combined together, now you're talking a whole home. You wouldn't even have to worry about, uh, you know, is it, if I got my heater on and the fridge is on and the, I just turn everything on, two units would be able to handle that. So what would be the difference? Why would someone buy the EP900 or the even the EP800 over one another? What would be the the reason someone would want to do that? Great question. The EP900 has the certifications to be able to back feed power to the grid so that you get the financial benefit of going solar and interfacing with your utility. Uh, so, you know, right now, if you just go solar, you're really still at the mercy of the utility and the public utility commissions. They can change that buyback plan just like they did in California with the yeah. Yeah. Um, So, what this basically enables you to do is, is pull, pull that back. Well, let's say you don't need that function. You're in a tiny home. You've got a farm. Uh, whatever. You, you you got power. You don't even need to, to be connected to the grid. Maybe you got a generator, and that is your, your usual source. Something like this, we can connect it with your generator. That is your grid. That kicks on when the battery goes low. 
and it charges it to a certain percentage, but now the solar is going to take over when the day starts. That will run your house off the solar, you'll charge the battery with it, and then let's say around midnight when the battery starts getting about 20% or so, it will send a two-wire start to your, your generator. So now you're only using your generator a few hours at its peak performance, at its power band. Yeah. So now you're, you've got way more efficient uh, usage of your fuel. If you're on propane, diesel, something like that, you know, fuel uh, prices have gone through the roof lately. Yeah. This is a great way of, of saving wear and tear on those parts. And it's not to say that this can't be used as just an energy barrier, because this is what, exactly the one that I have. And you can and use it just as a We got a couple just for AC, because I don't have the DC hooked up yet. We are working on a solar system that will feed it, but I hooked it up temporarily, and what I found a surprise was when the batteries were full, the way I got it set up is when the batteries are full, it just does a pass through. And it yeah, does a UPS. Is yeah, so it just passes through, and then if the power goes off, there's no flicker or anything. I've, I've pretty much load tested, and I'm, I'm very happy with yeah, it. So. 10 milliseconds, the battery and the inverter are gonna ramp up. There's, a, there's actually three switches in our switch, so it's gonna intelligently you know, switch it so that you would not see any interruption in your usage of electricity. All right. This is a new service that we are providing our customers. Uh, a lot of times you can go to our website right now and, and purchase one of our uh, energy storage systems like the EPA 800, 900. Uh, they come as a kit, they come delivered to your house. A lot of times you, know, you still need to find that missing component which is uh, the solar installer. That could be you know, the rooftop solar or ground mount uh, solution. Uh, but essentially, uh, we're, we're talking to uh, our customers and, and helping them find installers and then certifying those installers. Uh, what we've been able to do in Texas is create a virtual sales platform. So if you want to see just how much money you would save by going solar, you want to see maybe what it would look like on your roof, but not have to go through the hassle of inviting someone to your house, sitting down at the kitchen table for an hour, two, three, <laughs> to kind of kick them out of the house. Um, getting some sort of pitch or uh, hard sale. Uh, we're not doing that. We're just basically giving you the right information, showing you through uh, the top tier solar software. Aurora is just the top of the line for uh, designing and accurately forecasting the benefit of adding a battery to your system. So it enables to have less rooftop solar and actually have increased uh, solar savings. So for example, if the salesperson comes to our house with the solar company, they, they get paid a commission based on how many panels they sell. Uh, the incentive is not to talk about the battery technology, it's really about getting as much rooftop on your, on your roof. But unfortunately, that doesn't mean you're gonna get all the financial benefit. So we're kind of flipping the script. We want you to have less panels on your roof, but have even higher financial benefit. So we're able to accurately show that. It takes about 15 minutes to get that information. We'll design the system with your input uh, in our software and then show you what that looks like. We can even do uh, flexible, flexible financing, low monthly payments. Uh, we're with Mosaic, so we're able to do traditional solar loans. Uh, we pair you with your installer that will install the panels. Of course, you'll have the energy storage system, which means you'll have uninterruptible power. Our control and monitoring is uh, where we use our Blue Eddy app. This is so that you can control your unit through the cloud or directly with Bluetooth, which is pretty unusual in this space. Um, also, we'll cover the installation and service, warranties. Um, it's a whole one-stop shop. In half an hour to an hour, you can be meeting with us and checking out through our process and making sure that uh, you have reliable, safe power for the rest of the future of your house. Now, do you have installers for this? Yes, we have installers and we are also looking for installers. And electricians? So, electricians, yes. If you are an electrician, you know how to wire up a, a critical load panel, uh, do rooftop solar, this is for you. All right, and I'll, I'll get the links from you guys and I'll put them in the link in the description below so they can reach out to you, all right? Okay, all absolutely. Right, Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, you Justin. Thank you. Yeah.
I'm glad I got to meet the folks over at Blue Eddy to show us around, to show us about the products that they have, hear from the people that actually make the products, makes a big difference. And I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one.